this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! Uh, I love the music in this area, but unfortunately it is a little quiet. Well, very quiet, so... Well, sorry if you can't hear it, viewers, but, uh... Well, if I find the name of the song, uh, look it up on YouTube, or maybe someone in the comments can tell you the name of the song. I like it! I mean, it's not really that much of a song, but I just like the atmosphere it creates. So... Oh, of course, having snow around is helpful, too. How do you have a crossbow on you? What are you gonna do? Fire it with your teeth? What is it, a cat launcher? No. No. Who? Oh. Like, who needs healing already? This is my first battle. Whoa. Yeah, this is the Paramino Rift. I'm guessing this is the rift that someone was telling me, H.C. Bailey. Uh, take a look around at the rift. Okay. Is, is that it? Is that what you were telling me about? I, I don't know. But anyway, these guys are wild onions. Onion kids? Yeah, pretty much. But uh, you do want to steal from them because they can give you Wind Magicide. I think that is the sixth one that I need that I haven't got yet. But even if it isn't, there's still even more opportunities to get them later. So if you don't have six of them by now, you still don't have to worry about it. They give you plenty of opportunities to get them. Oh, and I love tanking. Some people were saying, H.C. Bailey. Uh, Bosch doesn't make the best tank because of his low vitality, and that makes Decoy run out fast. I'm surprised I didn't aggro that guy. But I still prefer Bosch as a tank because of his high HP, which I think is more important. I mean, really, it's a negligible difference of stats from one character to another and what role you put them in. I mean, the only major difference, really, is, like, MP for Ash and Pinello. But even then, it's like, if you make Vaughn or Fran a mage, I mean, not really going to make that big of a difference. So, what's going on here? Empires parade down city streets while refugees walk barefoot through the snow. Too bad. And so I sue for peace, to stop short war and ease their suffering. My Kill father will choose peace. Will he now? You sound sure of yourself. You can never know another, even your father. What do you mean by that? You're not speaking from personal experience, are you? That's not foreshadowing of any kind, is it? Oh, anyway. Ah, I love this part. I love how they spread out the cutscenes in the game, too. This crisis would not end were I gone. The Senate hates the very fact that House Solidor exists. By necessity, we must find reason to silence them. Cast the silence necessity? spell on them. Ah, yes. Necessity. Does that word free you, I wonder? Necessity you begins with the letter N. to solve matters with blood. The sword of House Solidor cannot be left to rust in doubt. It was you, Excellency, who tempered that sword. I wonder who's in charge of Rabinaster now that Vane's gone. I don't think is this your Vane. idea of vengeance? It is my idea of necessity. I wonder what Vane would do if he was ousted from power. If we what do, do we do? Now, Where would he work? It is not only our future, you imperil. So, you would dirty your hands to keep his clean. I'm guessing he's talking about Larsa. My hands are stained with blood. I see little reason to stay them now. Hmm. Oh, that's quite a cold you get so there. So they are. And so how Solidor lives on. I wonder if he knows what Vane is planning. It's almost like he seems to accept that things are just going to get worse from here, and he's just like, 
And hell with it, whatever. What do I care? I'm gonna die of this illness anyway. Well, what do I care? You do whatever the hell you want. I'm just a crotchy old man. Okay, let's move along. More wolves to kill. The reason why I'm having Bosch manually attack is so that he doesn't switch targets to the other wolf there to steal. Because Fran will target the leader and then she'll move along with him. So. Ah. Oh, and we got... What is it with undead guys in the ice, you know? Like Wrath Red, Red, of the Lich Queen? Or King? Yeah, Queen. <laughs> that wasn't a Freudian slip of any kind. No, Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah, uh, let's see. The Ice Cave in Final Fantasy 1. They had a whole bunch of undead guys. They always seem to have those. I mean, is it, that something from... Is that like a Lord of the Rings thing or something? I, I don't know. I mean, I have, I have a general idea what happens in Lord of the Rings. I just haven't seen anything past the first one. And I've never read the books, so I really don't know that much about it. Just for some reason, I, I don't think there's any, anything horrifically bad about it. I just, just never really got into that for some reason. Or Dungeons and Dragons, for that matter. Did we make it? And we got all these little floaty islands around here. Mount Boromesis, at last. Finally made it. But before moving on, the reason why I wanted to make it here now is because it unlocks some more hunts. But I was really mostly just after the, uh, what is it, the elemental spells before taking on some of those hunts. So now what I want to do is I want to learn some new licenses first. So really, to take on some of the hunts that I've already gotten, I only needed this, but I wanted to unlock some more hunts first. So let's see, we want to get Swords 4, because we're going to get some new weapons there. Get those for those two. Let's see, we want to get Spears 3. We're going to get some new weapons there. And then I want to get Mystic Armor 5 for the mages there. There we go. Oops. There we go. Okay. The clicking sound you hear are my is me looking or switching documents on my keyboard on my side computer. So if you ever hear me doing something on a keyboard, that's why. If you want to buy some new maps, and I'm gonna to have to uh, sell all the trash loot that I've been getting, so that way I'll have the money to buy everything that I want. So I'm going to take care of that off screen and then I'll be right back. Okay, took care of all that. I really hope I have all the money for all this stuff. But anyway, uh, let's see. We want to get the Flame Tongue Sword. Let's give that to Basha. Now someone was telling me, H.C. Bailey, after you went to the, uh, what is it, the Arut Village or however you pronounce it, uh, you could have gone back to Jahara, and they would have been selling all this stuff already. So I didn't have to wait until now to get all of it. But, well, I didn't know about that. So, oh well. So, I can't react to stuff that quickly. Let's see. Okay, so we got all that stuff. We I'll list all this in the video description. So, don't worry if you can't keep up with all this stuff. Let's see. Lamias Tiara. Ooh, this is going to be close. I'm probably going to have to sell some of my old equipment in order to get all the money for all this stuff, too. So, oh well. And, let's see. Yeah, I want to get uh, two of each of those, but, okay, I'll sell more stuff and be back again. And then I'll just buy those things off screen. Okay, let's try that one again. Let's see, let's go... Oh, well, I said I was going to do them off screen, but I lied! And shielded armor. One nice thing about the shielded armor is that it has auto protect, so that'll last you for quite some time. Even beyond the next upgrade of armor that you get. 
Okay, I think that's everything there, but if you talk to this guy, he also has some stuff to sell that the other guy doesn't bear. Including the stop spell. Not quite as useful as it was in the Dragon Warrior games, but still, you take what you can get. And now, before moving on, it's side quest time! Let's head on back to Robin Oscar. I want to pay a visit to old Dallin again. I haven't seen him in a little while. Just a little diversion, if you will. Oh, he doesn't say anything. Or, I mean, he doesn't actually like have a voice acting scene or, or anything like that, but eh, I just like visiting him every now and then. It's like visiting Grandpa in the old folks' home. Do not open that chest, viewers just sitting there taunting me. Ha ha, you can't open me. You want to know what's inside me, don't you? Okay, let's go. Anything about my current mission? Or... Oh, okay. Usually he says something about what you're doing, or some advice relevant, but uh... Okay, I guess not today. Sorry, I guess I just uh, wasted your time, viewers. Well, more than usual. Well, I ran into an invisible plot wall! Literally. I wish that door was more like a gear or something. Like a gear tower. Or a clock tower, if you know what I mean. Save the clock tower? No. No. That's, uh, that's something else. But anyway, we've got another side quest to do. Uh, we could have done it, I think, after... After the Tomb of King Wraithwall, couldn't we? I don't know. But, well, I just, I guess I didn't feel like doing it until now. Oh, wow. Oh, and by the way, you want to save the Lohengrin and Heavy Lance for later, because they're non-elemental weapons, while the Flame Tongue and Storm Spear are elemental. And some enemies absorb them, but, uh... Huh. I thought you were talking about Fran. Hmm. Wonder if he was talking about someone else. Let's find out. Well, anyway, this is the Love Struck Man side quest, and you have to unite him with a Viera that he has a crush on. So, you get a little reward out of it, so it's a nice heartwarming side quest. And there's other things that I'll be doing while I'm around here anyway, so I figured, well, let's do it now. I also want to pick up some more of the hunts that we couldn't get until we made it to Baromises. Okay, how's it going? This is the Viera he's talking about, so I just figured I'll just go straight to her. Oh. Nuts. What kind of provisions? Don't answer that, viewers. Where is she going? Hmm. Well, anyway. Let's see. We want to go to... Well, first find the Moogle. And let's go to the Muthru Bazaar. Yes. I think we can talk the kitchen again. I'm just going to call her the kitchen, that's all. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Kitchen? I don't know. Okay, how's it going? Oh, after making you feel bad about all that stuff? Now this time, if I recall correctly, this time you're supposed to support her idea. And I think if you do everything correctly, you will get a reward for it. Not right now, but soon enough, you're soon enough. So, okay, there we go. Hopefully I've done that side quest correctly. She'll appear eventually, in some location around Rabinaster. Not right now, though. But anyway, also, as long as we're here, uh, Mont Blanc has quite a few uh, hunts for us now. So, let's go pick those up, as long as we're in the area. I'll take care of the Love Struck Man side quest today. Don't worry, viewers. Oh, yeah, we get rewards for doing stuff. Most impressive. 
Yeah, that guy was hard. He killed me twice. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, you made that guy look too easy still. <laughs> oh, well. But anyway, Orthros, also known as Ultros. I don't know why they changed it, or maybe it was originally mistranslated or whatever, but... But, well, there it is. So, yeah, we're going to be taking him on pretty soon, too. Trickster, ooh. This might be the most annoying hunt in the game. Not the hardest, just the most annoying one. Yeah, this one is ri- oh, man. Oh, I'll be taking him on right away, but... Oh. oh okay, sounds like a plan. And we also want to get the antlion hunt there. Sure, sounds like a great idea. Where is it? Ah, okay, right over there. Now, I'm going to be doing all the hunts that I can do at this point in the game, except the antlion hunt. Not so much because it's hard, but because it's a really long trek through a rather difficult dungeon at this point in the game. And, yeah, it could be done, but... I don't want to make life that much harder. The other ones are relatively easy to get to, whereas the you have to go through the Lusu Mines, the uh, hard parts of the Lusu Mines that we haven't been to yet. So, yeah, I'm going to save that one for later, but all the other ones we're going to be doing now. So. Uh, let's see. Is she... There she is. Hey, how's it going? What do you mean by that? Uh, Pinello? No, she's just a, a childhood friend. Where have your gambits told you to go? To get drunk? Yeah, yeah, they have. She's going to go to the sand sea, so let's follow her over there, then. Eventually, I will start hopping around the city, or going to the next place off-screen, but... For now, I'm just doing everything as efficiently as possible. By the way, if you have any suggestions for recording the Bjerban Madu side quest, uh, let me know, because I'm probably going to be doing that in the next episode, and it's kind of tedious to uh, to do. So, I mean, I'll do it. It's fine. It just... It, it takes a while, so... Got a couple more hunts here. Awesome. And one more. These two, not so hard. The trickster is hard. Eh, not, not so much hard, but, well, you know what I mean. How's it going? Oh. What do you mean by that? Do I need to talk to you again, or... No, no, okay. Well, now we need to go back to the... The love-struck man again. Oh, you know what? There was one other thing that I, I've been forgetting about. Uh, after you rescue Pinello, if you talk to Miguelo again, well, you can get a little... Not really a cutscene, but well, you get a little extra dialogue. Yeah, why not show that off? Why not? I could have done that a while ago, obviously, but... No, I just kept on forgetting about it, so... Yeah, let's go do that now. Why not? Hey, uh, Dad, or dad daddy -o. I, uh, rescued your da- well, not really your, his daughter. Why does he care for us so much anyway? I mean, do we live with him or something? Or... I don't know. Now well, someone's got to keep me out of trouble. Reminds me of what might be my next main LP, but I haven't decided on that one yet. Mistakes will be made. Hey. 
Well, if you're gonna go out on your own, can you at least give me some of the money you're making? Whoa. Whoa. What's going on with my camera here? Holy cow. Okay, now let's uh, revisit the, the love struck man who's right next to where we are. I love efficiency. It's what I do. Sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. Okay, I'll just meet you back at the sand sea then this time. I was thinking about uh, fast forwarding through the uh, Bajurban Madu side quest, like record it and then just fast forward it in the editing process or something. Just a thought. Or maybe just refer you guys to a walkthrough so I don't bore you guys with that side quest. It can be done, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't think it's that interesting, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's worth quite a bit of money. Okay, we're back at the Southern Plaza here, and yeah, it looks like we've united them together, then. Aww. Oh, well, we get a little bow for our side quest, and that's pretty much it. 63rd? Surely he will be the one for you. Uh, how drunk can we get the town of Bujerba, or city of Bujerba? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.